guys, it's Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I am bringing you the weekly reading for October 10th through October 16th. All right, so that's our Wally walking around in the background, and my boyfriend just went downstairs in the backyard to go get our second rack of ribs that he's been making on the Traeger. Uh, we just ate a couple of uh, the first rack that were finished, and they were really good. We'll just say we'll just say they were. Damn delicious. Let's take a look at the stone I've been carrying around. And I've been carrying around my sunstone. This is my little sunstone. Um, actually uh, found one in our backyard as well, which I thought was interesting. That would be the ribs coming into the house. <laughs> Ribby. <laughs> <laughs> no near ribs on me. <laughs> and this is uh, my other stone I've been carrying around this past week. Uh, this was given to me by my choir director slash uh, music coach and figured out it was a piece of uh, obsidian. There you go. So obsidian. Um, so I've been sleeping with this underneath my pillow. Had some crazy dreams at first, but it looks like it's tamed down now. So there you go. Let's go ahead and get started with the reading. Um, the cards that I'm going to be using are the Antique Anatomy Tarot, and this is by Claire Goodchild of theblackinthemoon.com. So you might want to go check that out. Awesome deck of cards. These are the backs of the cards, so almost like, um, like a leather briefcase type backing. Okay, so Let's go ahead and put in the intention that this is a general reading, just kind of general energy that's out there. Um, if something resonates with you, go ahead and take it. If it doesn't, then, you know, leave it. Um, if you want something that is more personalized, then definitely check out my Etsy page down below and my website. Okay, so let's get a card going for Monday and Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday and Thursday, there we go. And Friday through the weekend. All right, excellent. Okay, so we set these aside. All right, Monday and Tuesday. Let's take a look at that. Monday and Tuesday, we have the world. So looks like, uh, you know, we, we've been doing a ton of work, um, it seems like the past month, month and a half. Um, and finally, there are a few things that we've set in motion and that we've been working really hard on that looks like is finally coming to completion. So not everything, obviously, um, because we have a lot to do before um, this life ends. But um, the things that you guys have been working on, struggling with, and it just kind of felt like a, for a while there, an uphill battle. Um, but now it seems like at least some of those things that have been on our to-do list are fine, have been checked off. So that's excellent. So what a nice way to start the week with the world. So finally, it's like, yes, that's done. On to the next thing. So it's nice to nice to be checking off that list. So I'm I'm glad that we're starting off the week this way. So very positive. Let's see what we got going for um, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I want to let you know, by the way, that this is a working deck. So all the cards are out of order in here. You know, they've been shuffled quite a bit. Um, but we have another major Arcana card for Wednesday and Thursday. So. It's not like all my majors were together, so I find this um, really interesting. Okay, so take a look at that card, first of all. I mean, look at the the shoulder pads on this guy, gal. It's awesome. So we have the Strength card. Um, so not only did we have the Major Arcana for Monday and Tuesday, so some huge you know, something of great importance in our life or our spiritual mission has come to a completion. Um, and Wednesday, Thursday, it looks like um, within that same energetic realm, you know, life completion or, you know, some life 
business has, has been completed. Not all of it, obviously. Um, there are some strengths that we have, we have gained from that. So, you know, although it felt like you were struggling there for a while and it was like there wasn't an end, you know, to any of it, there wasn't a light at the end of the tunnel. Well, now there is. Um, and you know, we have a huge piece that's been completed. And so we have some strength that we have gained with that. So that's excellent. We've just got some skills. It's like we have skills that have been downloaded. So excellent. So I'm really liking and looking forward to this week. All right. So we got um, Friday through the weekend. We have Ace of Fire. So excellent. So we start off with not only two major arcana, but now we start off or we're ending with an ace. So something has come to a completion going into some skills that we have now acquired and taking those skills into a new adventure. So get get ready for that new adventure that might be popping up for you guys Friday through the weekend. So um, hey, I'm like really excited and really looking forward to this week. I hope you guys are too. Um, I'm actually also looking forward to later this evening, if you guys can tell, I've got my Deutschland um, shirt on. I'm gonna be going to the Oktoberfest uh, here in El Cajon. Um, of course, that's like the only Oktoberfest outside of Germany. Um, even the, you know, I, I belong to the, um, you know, German American Society of San Diego and um, there is literally a busload of Germans and Austrians that show up to this event, you know, straight from the Oktoberfest in Germany, you know, still drunk, they show up, they come over to this Oktoberfest, they party some more, you know, get some more drinking, you know, dance around with the Autobahn band, and then it's back onto the bus, back onto the plane, back to Germany to party some more. So um, this is the place to be. I know there's a La Mesa one too, but that's not as good as alcohol. Anywho, so if you are in the San Diego area and you are looking to party for Oktoberfest and you're looking for some good German beer and some dancing and fun and things like that, check out the one in El Cajon. Anywho, on that note, <laughs> I want to uh, actually get us uh, ready for um, what I will, well, let's put all that aside. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's pull our Oracle card for this week. Um, and then I'll get us started for what something different that I wanted to do for the workout this week. So let's go ahead and pull an Oracle card. I'm going to be using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle um, by Victoria Mosley. And I believe that I've used this deck before, um, but I find it to be quite lovely and it does, it is quite telling. So there you go. There's our lovely backs of the cards. And let's get a overall card for this week, an overall feeling, a general overview, something to um, shed some light on this awesomeness that apparently is going to be happening this week, starting off with the world, gaining some strength and some new skills, um, going into some new um, adventures. Oh, something just flipped over. Let's take a look at what it is and how beautiful it is. Oh, surrender. So we got the butterflies there. Um, so the things that are happening, it's no more of us just work, 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 droning on and on and on until you want to keel over. It's like this moment that we're happening this week of things coming to a completion, getting some skills, going into some new exciting adventures and passions, just let it be go with the flow. And I've been getting that message for the past few days. It's just, um, I've been hearing, you know, rivers, going down the river, go with the flow, just let it happen. So there is no tr more trying and, and grasping. And, you know, although we still have other things on our list, put that aside for now and just enjoy what's going to be going on this week. So surrender to that feeling. This week for the workout, I actually wanted to work on a different muscle. So Stay tuned for that. That'll be a little bit more interesting. So I will catch you guys back in um, a few minutes, all right? So see you later. Hey guys, welcome to my room. So for this portion, we are going to be doing a guided meditation. So it's just as important to work this muscle as it is to work your 
other uh, physical muscles. So um, go ahead and find a comfortable place, a place that you are comfortable meditating. It could be uh, laying down on the floor, it could be sitting in a chair. For me, I love to do meditation at night before I go to sleep. I do it for about 10 or 15 minutes um, right here on my bed with my stuffed animals. Um, <laughs> so um, if the bed is the place for you, then go ahead and do that or anywhere you feel comfortable. Um, Hopefully you don't fall asleep. Um, try and stay in that um, kind of in-between state the entire time. All right, so just, you know, find that comfortable space. Um, you know, uh, if you're sitting down cross-legged, like on a bed or on the floor, um, you just wanna have a nice straight uh, yet relaxed posture. So you don't wanna be, you know, slumped over like this, but just uh, nice and relaxed. Let your hands, you know, be where they be, you know, um, preferably palms up. Um, to kind of let that energy in. Um, if you would like to lay down and do this, um, please do so. And if you're sitting in a chair, um, feet flat on the ground, and again, a nice relaxed posture, but not a slumped over posture. Okay, so for this portion, I'm gonna just kind of be turning the camera towards my stones so that I, because uh, you don't really wanna stare at me during <laughs> meditation. In fact, your eyes should be closed. So I'm just gonna have it, um, just camera towards my stones as I guide you through the meditation. And then after the meditation, I will see you guys back downstairs. All right, so here we go. One more thing. This meditation is awesome for our card that we got, Surrender. So surrender to the experience. Meditation isn't hard. You know, you're not forcing something to happen and you're definitely not shutting off your brain. That's impossible, unless you're dead. Then you're, then you're brain dead. Um, so. Um, it's more like just acknowledge all the thoughts that are going by. Say hello, thought. All right, pass it on. Next thought. Oh, hey, thought. How's it going? You know, pass it on. Don't give any of them too too much thought. If that makes sense. So, you know, if you're thinking about your shopping list, don't continue to think about your shopping list. Like, oh, my shopping list. List. Move on. Oh yeah, I got to do that tomorrow and move on. You know, that's all meditation is. It's acknowledging your thoughts as they pass by. So surrender to the experience. Okay, so now I'll see you guys later. Remember, you should be in a comfortable space, nice and relaxed, and take a deep breath in. Hold. And breathe out slowly. Another deep breath in. Hold. And breathe out. In a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you. In a moment, I'm going to begin counting backwards from 10 to 1. The moment I say the number 10, you will allow your eyelids to begin to blink and close down, relaxing your body more and more with each and every tranquil breath you take. Breathe in deeply, and we begin. In a moment, I'm going to begin relaxing you. In a moment, I'm going to begin counting backwards from 10 to one. The moment I say the number 10, you will allow your eyelids to begin to blink and close down, relaxing your body more and more with each and every tranquil breath you take. Breathing in deeply one last time and out. 10, your eyelids are beginning to blink now, relaxing more and more with each and every easy breath you take. Nine, eyelids blinking down now. Simply close your eyelids and begin concentrating on relaxing the muscles in your neck. Eight, close your eyelids down now and relax the muscles in your neck. Your chin now drops down against your chest. Seven, six, in a moment, I will continue counting backwards from five to one. The moment I say the number five, you will see yourself in your mind's eye at the top of a small set of stairs. 
As I say the number four, and each additional number thereafter, you will simply move down those stairs, relaxing more completely. At the bottom of the stairs lies a very large bed and a very relaxing pillow. During this time, if I call out or call to you again, this will only serve to relax you deeper. Five, you are at the top of a small set of stairs. That's fine. You're doing perfectly. Four, three, two. As I call out to you, this will only serve to relax you deeper. Hey to you. Let those neck muscles get loose. Way down. Way down. On the number one, simply sink into a more comfortable, calm, peaceful, and relaxed position. Let your body go limper and looser, as if you were made from a handful of loose rubber bands. And one, way down. That's fine. You're doing perfectly. And just relax here. Take in the thoughts that are passing through your mind's eye and allow them to pass, not giving any one of them any extra thought. feels good to be in this state. Continue breathing and relaxing, watching your thoughts pass by. Watching the images as they pop into your mind and allow them to pass. I'm going to be counting up from one to three, at which point you will become wide awake. So one, starting to breathe normally, moving around. Two, your eyelids begin to flicker. You feel the floor or the chair or the bed that you are in. Your surroundings are starting to come into your senses. And three, wide awake. Your eyelids and your body feel as if they've been cleansed in a cool spring water. So have a stretch, grab a glass of water, and if you, have, if you are into journaling, then maybe write down some of the things that uh, crossed your mind or images that popped into your head. And I hope you enjoyed this meditation, just a very short meditation. Remember, meditation is good for you. At least five to 10 minutes a day is something that our brain needs just as much as our other muscles. All right, so I'll see you guys back downstairs. All right, and we're back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed your meditation. Um, you know, there are other muscles that we need to work out. It's not always the six pack and it's not always the glutes and it's not always the guns, but sometimes you gotta work out what is between your ears. Don't let it go to mush. Don't let it turn into oatmeal. Although I do miss oatmeal. Anyway, that's a different subject. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Hopefully you enjoyed your meditation. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to check out my website. Don't forget to check out my Etsy page and all my social media stuff. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up, click subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.